hey, hey, what's really going on? Bitcoin cryptocurrency today. Going to be taking a look at XRP against USDT. Going to be assessing some of these key technical aspects of price action moving forward. Going to be looking for the pivotal areas of support and resistance I believe we're going to be interacting with in the very near future here. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Are you bullish? Are you bearish? Do you trade? Do you hold? Or do you let the price action unfold? What are you doing with your bag? If you have one, have you been accumulating at these levels, buying these dips? Are you bullish on XRP? Do you think we have, you know, the multi-dollar plus range ahead of us in the near future here? Or are you bearish on price action? Do you think support has yet to be found? We have more downside. We're going to plummet through all of these key levels, head straight to zero. You know, let me know your thoughts on the direction of XRP down in the comment section below. Uh, now, jumping right into it, uh, to kind of recap, uh, that's very aggressive what I do uh, what I would call as this uh, very critical sideways price action with uh, very crazy lows of like 17 cents and uh, euphoric highs near sort of like one dollar and 91 cents. Uh, we have price action rallying to and from, I do believe, this critical key level around 62 cents um, now. So price action uh, coming to 62 cents, uh, interacting with it as resistance. Uh, we have price action getting kind of slapped away from it um, all the way from the end of November of 2020 all the way to the beginning of April of 2021. So uh, 62 cents in addition to this uh, key so sell pressure zone, I do believe around 79 cents to 72 cents is another area that uh, is gonna give us a hard time. But this 62 cent level has been very critical moving forward in terms of very significant resistance. Uh, we have price action coming from uh, consolidation and support around 25 cents at the beginning of November of 2020, uh, not too long after but within that same month, we have price action coming all the way to that 72 cent range and getting slapped below uh, 62 cents, trying to find support along another key level near 46 cents. Um, although 62 cents has been uh, kind of too potent resistance and slapped us all the way down to where we came from. We had more interactions near 25 cents, crazy lows near 17 at the kind of uh, you know, end of December, beginning of January of uh, this year. Now we have price action finding its way back up near uh, 62 cents to interact with this upper kind of sell zone here um, only to get slapped and rejected away from it so we have uh, multiple examples of price action getting rejected off of 62 cents and a very significant resistance off of this range i do believe all the way from 62 cents to perhaps 80 cents is a very significant zone of sell pressure uh, price action eventually was bullish enough to find its way above these levels um, and we interacted with those kind of euphoric highs at the kind of multi-dollar range just about uh, but price action interacted with um, another kind of key range of sell pressure and that abrupt change in momentum on the 19th of may sent us plummeting toward and now through um, that kind of key zone that we've kind of been getting rejected from and so price action is in a very kind of critical state at the moment in my opinion we appear to be uh, interacting with that very significant and key resistance that has been holding us kind of down and slapping us kind of back down toward where we come from for several months all the way kind of from since last year the beginning of and middle of this year now uh, we have price action getting uh, saved off of a kind of current key level near sort of 50 cents a psychological kind of round level uh, but at the moment we have to see just how bullish we are and how bullish this bounce can be and uh, you know how significant this potential pullback uh, kind of might be at this current resistance um, so price action in a critical state, but a new belief, a new perspective comes into play when we consider engineering robo in addition to the FIBA, Lamborghini, Fettuccini lines of zucchinis, we can see Martini's uh, interaction with the underside of this 200 daily moving average is going to be, you know, another key suggester of the current sell pressure present. Um, that zone between 72 and 80 cents is that, you know, sell pressure range I've been suggesting. And we also have the 0 0.382 Fibonacci level at 81 cents. Uh, which is going to suggest even more significant so pressure um, ahead of us here so uh, price action uh, you know the bullish kind of factors we do have in play in the short term is this um, very bullish bounce off of the key level at around 54 cents this uh, 0 0.236 fibonacci line is going to be very critical and key support uh, so far this bounce has been very bullish we even have the buy four closing on the uh, sort of 27th of july of this year since the sell four since the dreaded 19th of may we finally have that buy four returning sending price action kind of upward we're going to see just how bullish we can be and if we can plow through all of this uh, critical resistance um, now 
uh, say we get uh, you know slap down to where we come from my kind of bullish pullback target would be support found above 62 cents here that is going to be the key level i do believe we will have to hold to potentially confirm this as you know a potential bottom for xrp you know uh, xrp does want to be bullish it wants to come back to where it came from uh, but we have to just see you know how long the technical downside will play out as we do have examples of price action uh, consolidating kind of like up and down in a volatile manner for you know over 133 days uh, through kind of end of last year beginning of this year and then if you consider kind of more recent consolidation like above 62 cents kind of where we are now we have 100 and sort of like 19 days so there could be a couple more weeks of consolidation still if you were to compare that to kind of previous price action and you were to think uh, you know data repeats itself um, you know they say it doesn't but it often rhymes so uh, we could have very similar price action uh, in that kind of way uh, XRP does like to take its time and consolidate and confirm its key levels before, uh, you know, finding its way, but it also has a tendency to break in either direction kind of thing. Um, so my kind of targets here, as if price action can pump and find its way above 81 cents, uh, or can try to find support kind of up there, kind of 80, 81 cents, uh, I can be far more bullish in the short term, and uh, we can, you know, get kind of more, uh, you know, more bullish on XRP and confirm this as a potential bottom, in my opinion, and, you know, definitely could perhaps see some more vertical upside from there, because XRP does like to make volatile moves, um, although if this resistance is significant enough to slap us downward, uh, my bullish kind of like, you know, support target is going to be 62 cents, and that would further confirm this as a bottom as well. Uh, price action failing to hold 62 cents uh, would give us a more kind of a bearish uh, perspective in the short term, perhaps. Uh, but XRP is looking very bullish at the moment, fundamentally and technically, in addition to uh, engineering robo turning uh, bullish a few days ago. Now, XRP looking... Uh, very volatile against USDT currently interacting with resistance. But if we switch to XRP against the price of Bitcoin, uh, we can see this new perspective coming to play here. Uh, we have price action bouncing off of the 200 daily moving average currently. Uh, you know, the more daily candles we find above that, the, the more bullish we can be in the like, you know, mid to long term, in my opinion. This does suggest, uh, you know, some bullish price action against the volatility of Bitcoin. Uh, at the moment which uh, which means we could either hold against that volatility or gain against bitcoin so this does uh, look pretty very bullish uh, for xrp in my opinion we even have that you know buy a four closing on the 28th of july uh, supporting this bounce off the 200 daily um, and so we very well could see some uh, continued upside and uh, some buy pressure um, you know in the uptrend kind of here for xrp finally um, now we do have the 0 0.618 Fettuccine line at 2012 Satoshi, and it's going to give us a hard time moving forward. We will have to, uh, I do believe, confirm that as support moving forward uh, to kind of make our way up into this kind of like upper range here. We do have a lot of resistance overhead waiting for us before we can get back to the euphoric Satoshi levels that we came from near kind of like, you know, 3900 uh, there. Um, so we do have, uh, you know, the 0 0.5 Fettuccine line at 2440 Satoshi. It's going to give us a hard time just above my 2270 Satoshi line there. Uh, that's going to be significant uh, support or resistance moving forward as we do have price action bouncing between uh, that range off of it as support and interaction with very significant resistance near uh, 20. 891 satoshi currently correlating with the 0 0.382 fibonacci level at 2873 satoshi so very significant resistance at that level uh, but we do have price action above it so we can uh, expect to perhaps break it upward uh, kind of again in the coming future here um, now xrp looking uh, even more bullish against the price of bitcoin is this a bottom have we finally found support do we have some more upside ahead there's definitely suggestions of buy pressure and um, you know the uptrend wanting to continue so this could very much be a very bullish bottom for xrp but if we switch to bitcoin against usdt what do we have here interaction with resistance uh, price action coming out of this very aggressive phase of consolidation, you know, recovering very vertically from this kind of two months of downside that we've had toward uh, 30k there, 29k, 28, bouncing all the way back up to 40 in a very quick manner. Um, price action interacting with this very potent resistance that I've been suggesting uh, that's been waiting for us. The 0 0.618 Fibonacci level, 41,500, very, very potent resistance that could very well slap us all the way back down to where we came from. And so, um, I mean, this was the pullback and the sell pressure and uh, signs of, uh, you know, exhaustion in the uptrend that I was, uh, you know, suggesting and waiting for. So we will have to see where we bottom out and find support here. Uh, we can be far more bullish if we start to bottom out uh, kind of where we are currently, in my opinion, if we start to see some more sideways candles and perhaps get some, uh, you know, more interaction with that $41,500 level. 
we can get way more bullish on uh, Bitcoin in the short term and perhaps expect, you know, price action similar to the beginning of February of this year, where we uh, found our way from 40K all the way up to kind of 50K in a very uh, kind of short period of time. And so uh, price action, say we failed to kind of hold where we are, and this does slap us down kind of where we came from, a um, very bullish area of support. Uh, along this range that we just kind of recovered through would be along this $34,000 level, the 0 0.5 Fettuccine line is going to be a very, very bullish level of support and would, uh, you know, very much uh, perhaps solidify a potential bottom at this range, especially if we maintain that buy for uh, with Engineering Robo. Uh, Engineering Robo getting bullish on Bitcoin is uh, definitely a good sign. As we can see, price action has rallied uh, very ver vertically since uh, this buy for closing on the uh, 24th of July there. Uh, price action has seen an increase of like 23 percent and we are currently sitting 16 percent above that by four so price action you know still looking bullish in the short term uh, we've definitely seen uh, very crazy buy pressure during all this downside these dips off of like you know 29k and the low 30ks have been very bullish significant resistance around that 0 0.5 line was uh pushing price action in a more kind of bearish manner but very very bullish recovery since uh, the kind of 21st of july of this year um so Technically, in my opinion, we are still sideways. We could definitely go up, down, or sideways still. Uh, there's still I'm waiting for further support and confirmation of this bottom. Lots could go on. Uh, lots of volatile price action ahead. You know, you know, multi-thousand dollar moves upward or downward could occur, and we could still be uncertain of the uh, short-term kind of direction of Bitcoin. Long-term, very bullish in my opinion. This is very healthy for the uptrend, all this downside, all this consolidation. New times to buy in before, um, you know, alt, current all-time highs and the next ones was very healthy for the trend, uh, in my opinion. So, uh, you know, perhaps this is what Bitcoin needed to kind of get to the six-figure plus range uh, was this kind of, you know, phase of sideways. Thank you for hearing my analysis. Try Engineering Robo free with the link in the description. Subscribe here on YouTube. Check out all the other social media down below. Let me know in the comment section where you think price is going to go. Thank you for tuning in and tune in for the next one.